Over the past 20 plus years, the Kingdom Hearts series has grown into a marvelous franchise filled with amazing memories and passionate fans the world over. At the point, it has become one of those franchises. Hey, have you heard of Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, the game with Disney and Final Fantasy and the Keyblade. So yeah, you get my point. And now we have gotten to the point of awaiting the next big game in the franchise, Kingdom Hearts 4, the beginning of a new arc in the series. Remember the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3? Well, that's actually the point of this video, to talk about the weight and perspective of said weight for Kingdom Hearts 4 in relation to the past of awaiting titles throughout the life of Kingdom Hearts. This is HMK, and let's dive directly into the darkness. In the past, Kingdom Hearts games usually had a notoriously erratic promotional campaign leading to the release of each title. And from looking at Kingdom Hearts 4, it is no different. But it is different. What is different is the timeline of things when it comes to the actual reveal, promotion, and release of each Kingdom Hearts game. This deals a lot with the perspective of how people swore they were waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3, the long-awaited finale to the Xehanort Saga, the Dark Seeker Saga. And we did indeed wait a while in relation to the game's speculation, reveal, and eventual release. Now keep up, this is very important. While the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 was indeed long, it seemed longer for others when they encountered the idea that they've been waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 since Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, to refresh you all on the time frame between Kingdom Hearts 2's and Kingdom Hearts 3's release, uh, whoa! That's right, 14 years, yeesh. Now that would seem like a long time, but it's due to this expanse that the meme of waiting 10 years plus for Kingdom Hearts 4 was brought on. However, we need to consider the actual timelines of releases when it comes to Kingdom Hearts titles, because I've been saying this throughout the years, and even now, that compared to other big sustaining video game franchises, Kingdom Hearts fans have been relatively eating super good in terms of releases both past and new, and with the series constantly and consistently remaining in official talks. And all of that is considering the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3, where not only do we get releases and updates of games and two games up until the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, but the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3, despite the years of constant speculation, was actually officially revealed in 2013, on the cusp of Kingdom Hearts re-entering the market with new life through the HD remixes. So in reality, the Kingdom Hearts 3 wait was actually six years, which is still a long wait from reveal to release. Considering that, however, it's not like our plate wasn't empty. It just fell down to each particular fan if they were a picky eater or not. Because between the reveal and the release of Kingdom Hearts 3, we've had all of the HD remixes, including 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, 1.5 plus 2.5, which I'm all counting due to new additions and improvements, and the fact that the final mixes were not available worldwide until these releases, as well as the entire journey that is Kingdom Hearts Key, that went on to Unchained Key, Union Cross, etc, etc, that actually didn't end until after Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. So honestly, while the hyper focus on Kingdom Hearts 3 was still quite the wait, we ate pretty good, all things considered, during that wait. And to put the whole thing into perspective, the entire timeline of Kingdom Hearts releases since the first game was actually pretty stacked throughout. Up until 2020, when Melody of Memory and Dark Road released, we've only had 5 years within the nearly 20 at the time where there was no release and they were all separate years. Like I said, Kingdom Hearts fans have been eating pretty good throughout, relatively speaking. But then we come to the advent of the end of the Dark Seeker Saga, the reveal of Phase 2 and the start of the Lost Master arc, the grand game that promises the future of Kingdom Hearts, revealed at the 20th anniversary event, Kingdom Hearts 4. I had to break down all the past perspective in waiting for previous Kingdom Hearts games, because now, unlike before, we actually have a bit of a drive spell. It will have been four years since a release, when not counting the PC ports and the cloud versions, which definitely helped keep Kingdom Hearts in the minds of many. And hey, if you also want to consider Sora coming to Smash, that works too. Not that it's the end of the world, especially when compared to other video game franchises, but it is longer than what we Kingdom Hearts fans are used to in the grand scheme of things. So how long do we have to wait for Kingdom Hearts 4? 
And will it be bad? Well, I mean the wait. Honestly, I don't believe so. As time goes on in this day and age in gaming, more and more developers are keen on the idea of keeping a game, or an idea for that matter, close to the chest and only talk about and show off more of a game much closer to its release, especially when it's a developer that tends to keep busy with a bunch of other games and products, and Square Enix is definitely one of them. But why reveal the game this quote unquote early? You would think no more, and the team will want to dodge the situation of revealing the game too early like they did with Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, there's a couple of reasons I got to speculating. One is the most obvious, is that it's the 20th anniversary, or it was the 20th anniversary. Of course, you will want to show something like that that will both celebrate the past and the future of the franchise. It is definitely something that looks way more fleshed out than what was first shown with Kingdom Hearts 3, relatively speaking, which leads to my next point. That too, the game is actually farther along in development than what we truly know, at least in terms of identity and direction. There are always variables in play when it comes to the game actually manifesting towards a complete playable state. But if that's the case, where is the game? Where is the news? What is the wait going to be like? Well, like I said before, when it comes to the current strategies that developers are using in revealing and talking about their games, and combining that with my reasoning on why they revealed Kingdom Hearts 4 when they did, it's because while I do believe the game is farther along in development than what people give it credit for, Square Enix is focusing more on games that are much closer to release that are quite huge in their own right. Case in point, Foamstar as I'm, no, I mean Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The game's promotional campaign has been actually quite steady, stable, and potent when compared to that of Remake, and it's cultivating quite the hype going into the release of the game. I am so ready personally. But once that game is out, I'm sure Square Enix will start to breathe again and start talking about Kingdom Hearts. In general, as Missing Link also aims to release this year, and I'm honestly thinking around March and that game is going to create a constant and consistent conversation surrounding that of Kingdom Hearts, just as Union Cross did. And within the atmosphere, I'm sure Square Enix will start to remind us, <laughs> get it, about Kingdom Hearts 4. But you will also think, hmm, what about Dragon Quest 12? That's another huge one. Well, there are some quick variables surrounding that that I'm sure it won't interfere with Kingdom Hearts. And that is, Dragon Quest is handled by a completely different team, and one could say a completely different side of Square Enix, considering the history of the game being an Enix property before the merger, and that unlike Final Fantasy, there is little if any overlap of fans from Kingdom Hearts. All in all, I'm pretty confident that the wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 won't be as long or as bad, relatively speaking, on what we went through with Kingdom Hearts 3 on the perspective of focusing on 3. And hey, if we do have to wait longer, we will have Missing Link to hold us over, right? I'm actually really excited for that game. But I think that Kingdom Hearts 4 could release sometime in 2025, or possibly 2026 at the latest. But hey, if it's later than sooner, that perhaps the news will begin to drip sooner than later. How long do you think we'll have to wait for Kingdom Hearts 4 to release or to have more news? No memes, let's get serious now. Leave your comments and theories in the comment section below, and I wouldn't be too worried. Remember, Missing Link is on the way and I think it's coming out real soon. But to stay in the loop, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK here on YouTube and to follow me on my other channels. You won't regret it. Alright guys, until next video, as always, stay spicy, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet? Don't piss Xemnas off.